Well, joining me now for more discussions on this ugly trend is a medical doctor and gender-based violence and psychosocial analyst, Hamira Welye. Thank you very much for joining us at this point. Now, when one is speaking on this trend and how it affects the life and mindsets of the victims, uh, it's something one can't really phantom. Even if you try to put yourself in the shoes of these victims, how can a victim best handle the situation? Um, thank you very much for having me on the show. Um, how the victim can best handle the situation is not really a question we pose to the victim. I mean, the victim, or as we prefer to call it, the survivor, isn't really the one at fault. So designing a method of, of, um, of action by the survivor isn't really the best uh, form of action. We should rather be thinking of how to prevent this situation altogether. Um, the only action we will expect from a survivor is the act of seeking for help and sitting, seeking for uh, health care. Uh, we do have a 72-hour period to offer a lot within the medical sphere in terms of prevention of, of ailments such as uh, uh, HIV, pregnancies, um, and, and, and other STIs as well. So um, the education here is trying to talk to the victims or the survivors if one falls short under this sort of uh, issue to seek help as soon as possible. And forensic science is usually helpful as well, where available. It's not usually available in the whole country, but where it is available, uh, the earlier you show up for uh, treatment, the, the better. But uh, at the same time, this is not something we just wake up and we expect survivors to be strong and just learn to walk to the hospital with all that boldness. Uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a gradual uh, thing and it's a gradual process. So please, uh, let's start with our, our method of showing what exactly should be done. Okay. It shouldn't come from us teaching the survivors what to do. Okay, so in, in all of this, because of want of time, I'd like to ask you just one more question. Should that, um, what form of punishment will be appro appropriate uh, for a convicted rapists? Well, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but... Uh, no, I know that quite all right, but from your, your view as a gender advocate. Well, as a gender advocate, I will really, really go for life. I will really, really go for life, or at least 14 years, which is what is popular in, in, in some of the states. Um, 14 years in prison, life imprisonment, these are issues that need to be discussed generally by the population, by the House of Assembly, by everyone, and not necessarily from me. But personally, if you ask me my personal opinion, I'll be like 14 years to life. All right. It's a hideous crime. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you. It's a hideous crime, as you've said it. Thank you very much, Hamira Welia, for talking to us.